Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike O'Brien and this video is all about the Echo Flex by Amazon. This came out one month ago and I wanna split this video into three different segments. So first I wanna go through and show you guys just a physical tour of this device, show you what it can do, what it looks like, what it feels like, and just give you a better idea of what we're talking about. Then part two, I actually wanna go and put this through a series of tests that are related to scenarios that I think most people would be assuming this can do. So one example of that would be like a bathroom. Some people think, well, I don't wanna have a standard echo in my bathroom because it might get splashed if it's sitting on a sink, but this would be great to plug into the wall. So what I wanna do is test out the speaker and the microphone in a bathroom when a shower's on, when a shower's not on, just to see what it sounds like and how well it registers your voice. That's, that's one example of the tests I wanna run. Then part three, I wanna break down what scenarios this is good or not good in. So is this actually good for a bathroom? Is this actually good for like a garage? And I wanna break down when this is a good or not good product for some people. Because honestly, $25, it's really hard to argue that it's not a good product, but it's maybe not the best in some situations. So getting into the mechanical tour of this, this is really not that big of a device. So you see right there, there's actually two components I have right here. I have an accessory and I'll talk about that later on. And then the actual unit itself is 2.8 inches tall by 2.6 inches wide. So really not that big. And it has a 0.6 inch mini speaker on the front right there, emphasis on the mini part of the speaker. It is very small, it's not that loud. And Amazon says on their website that this is not meant for music. So we'll test that out and see if that's true or not. But then going through the front, you also have the classic two buttons. Now these buttons you see on most Echo devices where one of them is your action button, as they say, or just to summon, um, I'm gonna try not to say the name, so summon the voice assistant. Then the other button is to silence the microphone so that it doesn't listen to you. I don't know if you ever wanna have it not Maybe like if you're watching this video and one's next to you, maybe you'd be good to silence or mute it. So in case I say that name, it doesn't, you know what I mean? So anyway, then at the top we have two microphones and we have the little LED light bar right there. That is pretty classic whenever you're working with the voice assistant, it'll give you some feedback if it's yellow or red or blue. So pretty standard on most Echo devices. Then on the side, we have a three and a half millimeter jack. This is a classic headphone jack. You can plug in just an aux cord to a speaker, which is pretty useful because because like I said, this is not the loudest speaker in the, in, the, in the planet, right? So if you have a separate speaker, you plug it in, suddenly this is a much more powerful device that can take any speaker and make it into essentially a smart speaker just by having this. Then on the bottom, we have a USB type A. Now this is a little strange because you think, is that for like charging my phone or, or what is that? And Yes, you can use it to charge your phone. I don't think that would be my primary purpose for this. I think really the coolest thing to use that for is some of the accessories that you can get for the Echo Flex. Now, currently there's really only two big accessories that you probably are looking at, um, at least at right now after one month of release. But I imagine in the future, there might be some more accessories that are kind of designed custom for this device. Now here I just have a little light, they call it a night light. It's, uh, it's set up as my first light. That's just what you know Amazon decided to call it. And so what you can do there is you can change the brightness of it so it can dim and you can also change the color of it. You can have it turn on you know, whenever it's like nighttime or whatever. So it's essentially just a night light, changes colors, kind of fun to have, um, not that useful, but I could see if you have kids or if you just wanna have a nightlight in your hallway, it could be kind of useful. Now, the other accessory that I was talking about is a motion sensor. So essentially, if somebody's in the room, you can have it programmed so that it like turns your lights on or something, or it does something different, right? So those are the two main accessories right now. Hey guys, a quick aside, if you like this video or this video style, I actually make a lot of different videos about Amazon devices. So make sure you go down and click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss my latest videos. In the box, it's really straightforward. It actually just comes with this and like a little manual. That's pretty much all you get. And same thing with the light, you just got a tiny little manual and you get the light itself, but you don't have any cables with this. It's really easy to set up. Like I said, you plug it in, it talks to you, you open the app and you use the Alexa app to kind of control everything during the setup phase. So now I wanna go in and actually do a couple tests. Like I said, the first one, let's actually just compare the speaker on this to the speaker on my smartphone. Now my phone is a Galaxy S10. So decent speaker, pretty normal for a lot of phones to sound approximately as loud as mine. So we'll see how it sounds. is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. What time is it? It's 
5.33 p.m. Happy Gingerbread House Day. Turn on my first light. Okay. Change the color of my first light to blue. Okay. Change the color of my first light to cyan. What day of the week is it? It's Thursday, December 12th. What is the origin of the Christmas pickle? Here's what I found on Christmas Pickle's Wikipedia page. All right, guys, so comment down below what you think about that comparison there. Which one do you think sounds better? Personally, I think I would probably prefer the phone speaker, but, you know, it, it's still... It's kind of impressive that it's at least as loud as a phone speaker, so it's not nothing that you definitely can hear this, but the quality is definitely a little bit weaker than the phone speaker. Now, test number two that I want to try out is actually a microphone and an audio test in a shower. So this is plugged in in a bathroom, and if a shower is running, I want to see if it can hear me and if I can hear it. Play Spotify. What's in the news? Mike, here's what's new. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. So next I wanna break down like the strengths and weaknesses of this device. Starting with the weaknesses, this device is not good for anybody looking to mount a speaker on the wall. If you want this to just plug in and play music, I think you will be disappointed by the volume and by the sound quality. I can't blame Amazon for that. They said it all over their website. This is really not the purpose of this device. And so I can't hold that against them. And if you really wanna play music with this, really the best way to do it is to plug in a speaker through the little aux port on the side. It should be fine. You can plug into whatever speaker you want, amplify it, and have music playing, which actually is really nice if you think about it. So if you have a stereo set up in like your basement or garage or wherever, and as long as there's Wi-Fi there, if you have a speaker set up and normally you plug your phone in or your laptop, but you would rather just have it streaming and not have your phone like limited to that all the time, you could get this, plug into here, and suddenly you're able to stream and have a smart speaker connected to your stereo system. And all of that for only $25. It seems like, honestly, a pretty good deal there, especially when you start factoring in the price. Now, another thing that this is not really good for, or at least I struggle to justify this, is if you're just looking for mounting you know, Amazon's Assistant on the wall. If you just want Echo on the wall, like, yes, this does do that, but there's also so many other ways to do that. So if you have, no matter what generation, if you have an Echo Dot, you can mount it on the wall very easily with like two to five dollars and like an eBay or an Amazon account. You just go buy some kind of little plastic thing that fixes it on the wall. Now, if you look at like the newer things like a Google Nest Mini, for example, you can actually just, it has a hook on the back, you just mount it on the wall anyway. So a lot of smart speakers are doing that now, and that's kind of strange that like, so, it's kind of hard to argue that that's the purpose of this one. But what I think the purpose of this one is, there are definitely some big strengths to this product. So one of them is actually um, expanding your range. So if you have an Echo Dot or an Echo in one part of your home, we all know it can't hear you when you're really far away, like maybe the next room or a couple rooms over, it might be useful to extend the microphone range by buying just a $25 device, so pretty cheap, and just plug it in, plugging it into the next room. So that's something that I found is very useful for this. Something else I think is nice with this is having the accessories on the bottom, so just having either a motion sensor or like the little, the little night light here. Could be nice to have that. It's also controlled, of course, by Alexa here, so that means that you do have all the controls and you have in just an extension of your range for where your home is smart. Next, I think that this is maybe not the best for listening to music in the shower, but for me at least, I think it's okay if you're listening to podcasts or something, you can pretty much hear what you need to. And I think it actually is pretty nice if you're like brushing your teeth or getting ready in the morning, as long as the shower's not running, it, it's fine. You can hear like your morning news, for example. Maybe if you want like a podcast while you're getting ready in the morning, I know like if you're putting like makeup on or something, maybe that takes longer and maybe you'd wanna listen to a podcast. And it, I think it's kind of nice to have this. Like, yes, you could set your phone on the table or on the counter, but 
I don't know, it's kind of nice to have it plugged into the Some other strengths of this one is the lack of wires. So I think it is, there is something to be said about having this plugged in and not having wires all over your wall. So it is a little cleaner, a little bit more minimal on your wall. And if you're plugging this into an, uh, like next to a stereo, it's nice that you don't have like a plug and then like your echo dot hanging and then like another cable coming into this. So I think simplifying it is definitely a pretty good move right there. Now, of course, this does not have as many microphones or the same quality that you're going to be getting on a lot of the Echo devices like the Echo Dot or the main, like the, the big one. So that's one small drawback there, but I still think that it, it works pretty much the same for me. And then lastly, I think basically anybody looking to just get their feet wet, get into the smart home kind of system where maybe you have like a light bulb, you wanna buy like a Philips Hue light bulb and you wanna somehow control it, maybe getting this would be just a good way, just $25, get a microphone in your home and it's kind of like a gateway to uh, an, an Amazon ecosystem that is pretty cheap to get into. And I think that's kind of what Amazon was going for with this one where there's kind of this war right now between the different voice assistants. So Google and Apple and Amazon are all fighting to be your primary voice assistant because it's kind of hard to use multiple and, and switch between them all the time, set reminders on one and hope they're on the other. Like it's better for most people just to choose one. And so Amazon's really fighting to be your one voice assistant. And so that's why we see a lot of not just Echo devices, but like Echo Auto, Echo Frames, and you've got the earbuds, you now have this. They're really expanding so they can be all over in your life. So what do you guys think of this one? I think this is a pretty impressive device. It's really hard to complain about a $25 device that can do what this is able to do. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this and why. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.